Wow. What were we talking about again in our mini lesson today? What's our skill we're working on? Yes. Sequencing. Very good. And that means to put the events of the story in order. Okay. Today, like I said, we're going to be working on a shark at the beach and putting that story in order. Uh, but before we do that, I want to show you a couple things I noticed while I was listening to you guys read today. Here's the first thing. Look up here, Kevin. Okay. All right. I saw somebody come to this word today and say that this was the word it is. Now what is wrong with calling this word it is? It is looks like this. I-T-I-S. Two separate words, right? But this one, Kevin, is one word. How do we say that word up at the top? It's. it's. Now, it's is what you get when you put it and is together. Does anybody know the special word that we use to talk about when you combine two words into one? Stretch with a C. It is called a contraction. So this word, it's, is a contraction. You have to read it as it's. Good. Another one I noticed here. This was really good. I saw Kevin today came to this word. It said shark, but there was an exclamation point at the end of the word shark because the characters thought that shark was coming to attack them. The first time he read it, he read it like this. He just said shark. Then he noticed the exclamation point. And what does it mean, Kevin, when you have an exclamation point at the end of a word? What do you need to do with your voice? Make it look really Yeah. And so, how did you read it the second time? Shark. Very exactly. Exactly. And that's exactly what you want to do. You want to add energy emphasis when you see one of these exclamation points. Last thing. When you come to a word you do not know, you can look for small parts of it you know. Another thing you can do is you can think of a word that is like that word that you know. So for example, you may not know that word, but you might know this word that is similar. What is that word, Timon? Good. That is the word good. This O-O-D part says ud. You can see that that same ud part is up in here. So if you add the S-T to ud, what do you get? Good. Okay, very good. All right. And now on to our story. The sequencing words that we are going to be using today, again, are these. In the first position, first. Next. Then. After that. Yeah. Last. So here's what I want to do today. As a group, I want to come up with what we think of as the five most important events in the story. And then we're going to mash them up to these words. So, who can help me? What was a major event that happened in our story today? In a shark at the beach. First of all, who are our characters in the story? Yep. Okay, pig. Yeah, Princess Big. Who else? Yep. Okay, and who else? The turtle. Yeah, what's the name of the turtle? Yeah, how can we figure out the name if we've forgotten? And how can we find it if we're not, we don't remember? I know Tina. Tina, yeah, Tina the turtle. Okay, so who can tell me an event from the beginning of the story? What happens at the start? Princess Big, Marvin, Tina. What happens? Anna, yes, help me out. All right, uh, so I'm going to say Tina, Marvin, Princess, got their bikes, and went to the beach. Anna, here's what I want you to do. We're going to put that in the first position. I'm going to give you the first card. I want you to draw me a picture of that event, okay? Draw that event. Tina, Marvin, Princess getting their bikes to go to the beach. That's what happened first. So she's got first taken care of. All right, what happens after that in the story? Next. Uh, Kevin, yes. When they got to the beach, Princess Peggy goes swimming and Tina the turtle made the sand castle and Marvin Pig was helping him. Okay, fantastic. I want you to take this next card and draw me a picture of that. Okay, so you're in charge of next. All right, Tamulin or Quinn. What happened then, after they made the sand castle at the beach? What happened then? I like 
the way you're using the book to find out what happened. Yes? Okay, well, let's let Tamuwa talk first, and Quinn, you'll be up. Ma Marvin saw a shark, and and Princess was waving his knife. Very good. Okay, that's exactly what happened. So you are going to be then, Tamuwa, and you're going to draw a picture of that event, okay? So Marvin seeing the shark and the waving that happens. I'm going to give you the then card. Quinn! After that, what happens after Marvin sees the sharks and there's all the arm waving that goes on? What happens after that? And you can use the book. Okay, Tina ran to the water, and why did she do that? Because she saw a shark. Okay, and why was she running? Okay, and then what happened after that? Why is she yelling? What is she yelling for? What's she doing that for? Who's she, who's she yelling to? Princess. Yeah, and what is she try why is she yelling at her? What is she trying to get her to do? Get out of the water. Okay, so very good. So I want you to draw me, you're going to take after that, I want you to draw me the picture of Tina trying to get Princess to come out of the water. Okay, draw that picture. Let's start with you. Go ahead, Anna. Tell us what happened first. First, um, Tina and Marvin Pig and Princess Pig got their bikes and went to the beach. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to go to next. Use the sequence word to move on. Thank you. Go ahead. Next. When they got to the beach, um, Princess Pig was going to swimming, and Tina the turtle and Marvin Pig were making a sand castle. Okay, good. Tamulan, you are then. What happened then? Then, Marvin the pig shot, saw a shark, um, saw a shark that, then, then Princess waving his hand. Okay, very good. And then Quinn you are after that, what happened after, after that? that? Hello. Two more one. After Please that but, um, You can look at your picture if you forgot. What happens after that? Tina yells. And why is she yelling? Because there's a shark. And what is she trying to get her friend to do? Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Very good. And which brings us to the last position. That's me. Um, this is my beautiful drawing here. Last, they find out it's not a shark at all, but it's actually a cat inexplicably wearing a shark hat. Uh, and that's the story.